we're going to go through the steps necessary to initialize the terminal. The first, we are assuming that you have a BTC Pay application and stored already configured. So you have to log in, enter your password, and configure your wallet, and create an application. So what we will do is uh, the Android terminal will retrieve the URL for your website. So if you haven't done so, you, have, you can copy the application website, go into settings, and where it says store website, either paste that or if you already have a URL, make sure you have it there. That way when you press the click my store on the terminal, it will open that store. The other part that is very important is to configure the webhooks. Uh, you must have a webhook enabled so that the terminal can retrieve the updates when an invoice has been paid. It doesn't really matter if it's an actual website. What I did is to just enter my own website there. You can use your own website. We just need a, a valid URL uh, where the BTC Pay will send the event. Um, make sure you test it to, uh, to make sure it's working. And that's it. So now you can just uh, go back to the application and the first time it runs, uh, it doesn't have the authorization to access your, 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 your BTC Pay application. So you go there, you select either an existing one that is listed there, or you can customize and enter your own and select Authorize. And now it redirects to BTC Pay server of your choice. Uh, it will ask you to enter your email and password. And uh, it will ask you to authorize the point of sale terminal to create invoices to see the website, uh, the webhook, and to see the your store. Once it's approved, it redirects to uh, a, a project that we are collecting money for. This is totally optional if you want to help us and uh, but at this point the terminal is ready to operate so you press back with the browser all the way to the beginning of the application and you're ready to accept payments so you can see enter the amount confirm and it opens the URL that you can forward or the person can scan it you can also open the BTC Pay invoice itself. Thank you very much.